The ending of the recently concluded episode 14 of Miss Night and Day, left most of us anxious for the next episode, as Mijin falls into fake Ok Hui's trap. And the preview upped the anticipation for the finale, as Mi Jin and Fake Ok Hui engage in a battle of wits. Sadly, there are only two episodes left, hopefully, there'll be some lovey-dovey moments between Ji Wung and Mi Jin before it ends. Meanwhile, episode 14 unraveled all the mysteries in the series. Ok Hui, as she has many names, Let's maintain Ok Hui as her name, killed many people out of greed. She took night classes at nursing school, and gave house call beauty and sedative injections. Bet Chiogya's wife solicited her services, but she drugged her with the fentanyl she bought from her husband and tried to make away with her pieces of jewelry and bank notebook. When caught in the act, she kills her with an axe. This was her first kill. The fentanyl she used, was what made Bek Chiolgyu guilty in the eyes of the community. Thinking that his wife is missing or has run away with a lover, Bek Chiolgyu asks Mi Jin's aunt, Lim Sun, to help monitor her account. Ok Hui, dressed to the nines with the late Mrs. Kang's jewelry, visits the bank to make withdrawals from her account, prompting Lim Sun's interest. Lim Sun tries calling Bek Chiogyo, but he's been questioned at the police station about his wife's death, and is unable to pick. Ok Hui notices that her ruse is up, and leaves the bank before Lim Sun returns to her seat. She waits for her on her way home and knocks her out. However, Ji Wung's mother witnessed this and ran away but unfortunately left a clue behind. Ok Hui has to keep eliminating witnesses to mask her crime. The investigators visit Ji Wung's mother, asking for clues to the killer's identity, but she's too afraid to say anything. Meanwhile, they were only investigating Bek Chiolgyu's wife's murder, while Ji Wung's mother witnessed Lim Sun's murder. Despite her fears, Ji Wung's mother finally gathered the courage to report what she saw that night. She calls the investigator, but the chief won't let him go. Before Officer Malte, who now works as a senior intern at the district, could get to her, Ok Hui had already eliminated her. Desperate to find her sister, Mi Jin's mother goes to the police, and distributes flyers to help find her sister. This must have made Ok Hui uncomfortable. Mi Jin's aunt had been on her phone when she was attacked. To mask her tracks, Ok Hui uses her phone to ask her sister, Mi Jin's mother, to stop looking for her and not to report her as missing. She takes up Ji Wung's mother's job at the shop to find out if anyone would miss her. Hearing of Ji Wung's mother's disappearance, Mi Jin's father and his friend visit the shop for clues. She promises to help them find Lim Sun and to divulge information she hears from the police. However, she resigns from the shop and disappears. You know what they say, no body, no case. She made sure Lim Sun and Ji Wung's mother's bodies weren't discovered. Mi Jin's father and his friend must have searched for her, and found out that she's Madame Kwok. It's yet to be known why she applied for a position at the prosecutor's office. Maybe, to find out what they know before she disappears. However, she didn't make the cut, and finding out that Ok Hui did ignite her plans. She must have drugged and kidnapped her, and took her place during the welcoming introduction. After reporting to work, and finding out that no one noticed her sham, she stalks Ok Hui to kill her. However, Na Hyum, who is now her colleague, witnessed the murder, and she had to eliminate him too. However, Mi Jin is the one who got away, and she fears that Mi Jin might have seen something that night. 
Meanwhile, Mi Jin's double identities are becoming too much of a burden to bear. She feels terrible for lying and deceiving those she cares about. This makes her hand in her resignation letter. However, she's dragged back into the chaos, when she finds out that Ok Hui is the culprit. On the other hand, her mother, who's still holding out hope that her sister is still alive, believes that Lim Sun is her missing sister. She feels terrible for not recognizing her. This prompts her husband to seek Madame Kwok out. Jie Yang's father had told him about Madame Kwok's intention to move out after selling her shop. Upon finding out that Mi Jin is Hak Chan's daughter, her killer instincts kick in. She kidnaps Hak Chan to get to Mi Jin. Worried about her father, Mi Jin agrees to meet her. However, she leaves a message for Jie Yang, who fails to pick up her calls. What's more, she let her guard down when she saw her father's phone, and OK Hui utilized the opportunity to strike her down. Meanwhile, Ji Wung is anxious after visiting OK Hui's shop and hearing about Mi Jin's message to Jie Yang. Knowing where OK Hui first met Mi Jin, he tracks them to the shed where OK Hui struck Mi Jin down. However, Mi Jin had woken up and made a run for it. Ok Hui hunts her down. She tries to throw Ok Hui off by removing her jacket. However, Ok Hui later catches up to her and tries to strangle her. After a long night and a desperate search, Ji Wung finally finds Mi Jin in the early hours of the morning, as Lim Sun. As Ok Hui's atrocities are out in the open, the police are finally able to find Mi Jin's aunt, the real Ok Hui, and Ji Wung's mother. On a scale of 1 to 10, how anxious are you for the next episode? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. If you liked this content, give it a like, share, subscribe, and turn on your notification bell for all things wonderfully K-drama. Thanks for watching, bye.